Hi, my name is Sarah Chisnell. I'm the staff scientist here in the Discovery Theatre on the third floor at Science North. And this year is the International Year of Chemistry. So we've been celebrating every month with a cool new web post about chemistry. And this month we're going to be taking a look at something called a catalyst. Now, in chemistry we often deal with reactions and sometimes they're very, very slow. So we need to speed them up and we can do that with using a catalyst. In this graduated cylinder here, I have hydrogen peroxide. Now it's not the kind of hydrogen peroxide you find in your house. Um, this is 35%. House peroxide is somewhere between 3 and 6% at the most. Um, so it's very corrosive, but it is reacting right now. Can you see it? Not so much, right? No. But um, it is, and it's actually undergoing a very cool chemical reaction. Hydrogen peroxide chemical formula is H2O2. So two hydrogen oxygens, or two hydrogen atoms, two oxygen atoms, and they decompose to form water and oxygen gas. So when you leave your peroxide in your cupboard at home, let's say, once it's past the expiry date, pretty much all you have is water left after a while because this happens very slowly. Now I want to speed this up because I want to show you how much energy is stored up in these chemical bonds and when they react, they release them. So for that, I have a catalyst here. Catalyst is a potassium iodide. The iodine is the catalyst that's going to speed this up. So we'll put this in and let's just see what happens, okay? So much, much more interesting. You can see how all that stuff came out. We added a little bit of soap to slow down the reaction, but also to show you how much gas has come out. I'm sure you've seen all of the steam. It's very, very hot because there's a lot of energy stored up in those bonds. And when we break them down very, very fast with using a catalyst, um, you get all that energy out. Now a catalyst is not actually used up. So the iodine that I put in hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there. It's still in iodine uh, form. Just, we can't see it, it's all kind of mixed in with soap there. Um, and catalyst, that's kind of the definition of catalyst, is that you speed up the reaction without actually using up the catalyst. Uh, another common catalyst is the catalytic converter in your cars. You use platinum or palladium to take those really toxic gases and convert them into a little bit less toxic gases before they um, exhaust out of your vehicle. So catalysts aren't only important in lab situations like this, but they're used in everyday life. Catalysts are really important part of chemistry, and as we're celebrating the International Year of Chemistry, I didn't want to let that one slip by. So make sure to join us next month when we celebrate chemistry some more with thermodynamics. Thank you.